Open up, Nelia. It's me, Benita. Mario's fiance. Open this door now. How did she find my house? Open this door now. Look, Nelia, if you don't open this door, I am going to make enough noise to wake your entire neighborhood. Don't dare me. Let's go now! Oh, I see. This is where you hide yourself after slotting around with my man, huh? Nelia or whatever nonsense you call yourself. I see. Nice apartment. For a whore. Um, Benita, I'm going to try as much as I can to be as civil as I can. All right? You know, like ignore the whole intrusion of privacy. But you have to be quick and let me know why you barged into my house like a thief. Oh, it takes a thief to know one, Nelia. Stay away from my man. Stay away from him. This is going to be the first and the last time I'm going to warn you, okay? If I ever catch you or hear stories of you hobnobbing around my man, you will be dead. Dead, Nelia, dead! Are you done? If you're done, please leave. Or what? Or what will you do if I don't leave? What will you do? You know, I really would love you to give me one reason to hit you. Give me a freaking reason to beat the living daylight out of you. I swear as hell, Nelly, I'm going to beat you. I'll beat you. I'll make sure you spend three months in the hospital. And maybe I could spend some few days in cell. I don't want to catch you around like that. Stay away from my room. Stay away from him. Just leave him the heck alone. Leave him alone. Gosh. to you. I'm asking you, what was you? Tell, tell me. 
The question should be who did this to me? Somebody did this to you. Nelia! Tell me who the person is. Somebody did this to you, Nelia. I promise you, that person, eh? This is the last night that person will roam the streets as a free person. I will make sure that person spends a long it's time Spenita. in jail. Spenita. Benita. I, I, I don't understand. What happened between you and Benita? She came to my house with three male thugs and she beat me up. After threatening to deal with me for dating you. Benita, I came. No. No, now. This is unbelievable. <laughs> no, Sita, tell me you're joking. <laughs> Benita. Violence. No, now. Come on. I've known Benita for how long? About four years. More than four years, even. I've never seen her display an act of violence since I've known her. No, now. Come on. Yes, she can be crazy. I know that one very well, but violence. Benita. No, now. Come on, sweetheart. Tell me you're joking. You're joking now. So, uh, hold on. Uh, what are you insinuating that I'm lying? What? Th that I put this bruise on my face and I'm lying about your ex? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, wow, Myron. Thank you so much for standing up for the woman you claim to love. No, no, sweetheart. Why are you talking like this now? I'm just trying to make a point here. Try and get where I'm coming from. I only from. got beat up, Myron. I have not lost my sense of reasoning. And it's not enough to know that you have just taken Benita's side. No. Why are you talking like this now? I've not taken anybody's side here. I'm just trying to make a point. Try and understand what I'm saying. Calm, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! My bun! <laughs> I love you. And you said you love me too. And your ex is just beating the life out of me. And you're right here making me feel like a liar. Ooh. Now, don't sound like this now. I'm not making you feel like a liar. I'm just trying to explain one or two. Okay, 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 you know what? I'm, I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. Let's leave all that aside now and let's just let's just move on from this. Um okay. Okay, let me take you to a hospital, okay? So they can evaluate you and give you proper treatment, okay? All you have to say. Take me to the hospital. What happened to all the threats you were making right now that you're going to lock up the person who hurt me? What happened to that? This is goodbye. You hear me? My own, do not ever come near to me again. Don't you ever! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be sleeping in your room. I was thirsty. I came out to drink water and could not find you. Oh. Where are you coming from? <sighs> Never mind. Let me get you water. <sighs> there you go. Come on, let me take you to your room. What happens to your face? It's just a slight accident. I'm okay. Come on, let's go. Come on. I'll help you with it. So, I thought you were sleeping. Hmm? So, What would you have for breakfast? Well, at least you won't say I, I didn't try to feed you. I want to go outside. Outside? What for? What are you going outside to do? 
What do you want to go do outside? To do whatever it is I want. Hmm. I asked you to come to my house to be with me in my trying times. And all you did was turn me into a prisoner in my own house. How dare you, Nelia? How dare you? You want to go outside? Hmm? Let's get you outside. Hmm? Let's dress you up, set you up, and take you outside. Come on, let's go. Yes, yeah, stop it! Let's take you outside! You don't want to go outside? <laughs> Come on! Hmm? Let's go outside! Let's go and show the world what the sexy goddess comfort has turned into. Let me go showcase your imbecility to the whole world. How about that? Hmm? Let me get you ready. Stop Come it! On. Let's go! Let's go! Stop! Let's go! You don't want to go outside? <laughs> Just leave me alone. All I've ever done is try to help you. Don't you forget that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm just waiting for you. So once you get to the gate, once you get to the gate, just call me for the passcode, okay? Yes. Chevy View. Right. Okay. <laughs> Benita, how could you stoop so low as to go into Nelia's house to beat her up? What is this? Do you know, I really thought you came here for us to have fun. But if it's because of that harlot you have come here, you might as well show yourself out. Benita, this is not going to work. I hope you know. You going to Nelia's house to beat her is not going to bring both of us back together. Never. Not today, not tomorrow, never. Marion, what is it? What have I done wrong? Just tell me one thing that I have done wrong since we started dating four years ago. Just one thing, one thing. Wow, oh my goodness. Benita, you have the guts to stand there and ask me this question after you cheated on me? I never cheated on you. I've never been with any other man except you, just you, since we started dating. Why can't you believe me? Okay. Um, please explain the picture of you kissing a man in a nightclub. No, explain to me now. My God, explain. My God, Marion, I have told you time with that number. That picture is just a harmless kiss between... I am some random guy in the club. I don't even know him. He kissed me without my knowledge. Whoever took that picture must have taken it to set me up. This is what the person wanted. A quarrel, a breakup, a fight. Can't you see? Really? Benita, just listen to yourself. You're beginning to sound like a child here. This Shame on you. Marion, this is the simple truth, the plain truth. That's just what I've told you. Okay, have you ever stopped to ask yourself, why would someone just capture me kissing a guy in a club and then send it to you? I don't care. I don't care. Listen, Benita, I don't know who snapped that picture. I don't know who sent that picture to me. But what I know is the person just saved me from prolonging a relationship that would have obviously led to, to, to my perpetual agony. Can you just stop, Maron? Just stop, okay? This is not... It is over! Benita, this is over! Me and you are done! Stop coming after me! Go and look for another guy out there and you pull your lies to. I'm done! You are done and dusted! Get that into your skull! Okay. Good 
morning, Nelia. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, Dr. Boyan. To what do I owe this visit without prior notice? <laughs> Can I at least sit down? I was already on my way out before you rang the bell, so... How may I help you? Oh, yeah, I'm here to check up on Comfort. How is she doing? Comfort? She's fine. Mm. That's mm. good. That's good to know. So, may I see her, please? What is this? What are you doing? Mm, I don't understand. What are you talking about? This whole unannounced visit and the air of authority mm. you are carrying about. Nelia, I did not come here to fight you. But I am not happy that you're constantly preventing me from seeing my patient. I am her guardian. Mm. You want to see her? You inform me. Then I bring her to your clinic. Oh, nice. Garden. So please, do you think you can bring her by the clinic this Saturday? Yes, I can. Nice. And um, do you think I can see her? Even if it's just for five minutes, because, you know, it's been a while I saw her. And... I am very worried about her well-being. She's sleeping. And I'll bring her to your clinic on Saturday. Sleeping. Mm. What is wrong with your eyes? I'm not your patient, Dr. Moyne. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll see you on Saturday. Yes. <laughs> Don't treat me like this now. It's not fair. Nelia. Myron, please. I'm late for my engagement and I don't want to. I don't want to be late. Please, just leave me. Let me be on my way. No, no, Nelia. I'm not a troublesome person, but this time I'm not going to let you go. Until we make up. There is nothing to make up for. I already told you. This short relationship we had is over. Over? Just like that? Yes, just like that. It's not better we just break up now and save each other the stress of stretching this whole stress before we eventually break up. No. Nelia, I'm not breaking up. Stop now. I was at Benita's house today. Trust me, she will never come an inch close to you anymore. <laughs> Boy, I am not worried about her coming any close to me. I'm worried about her hold on you. Her hold on me? Yes! How? Hold on me, how? Benita, we broke up before I even met you, Nelia. Uh, you, 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 you helped me to, to pull away from her further. That's why I'm always thankful to you now. So what? You're saying you don't love her anymore? Of course I don't. How can I love her? I'm talking about someone that was cheating on me. And I'll, I only knew by chance. Eh? No, now. Come on. What am I doing with such a person? When I have an, an, an angel like you. Hmm? Myron. Hmm? Babe. Hmm? Are you sure it's not just better we break up now and save each other for that stress? I mean, I don't even have the strength to fight another woman over a man. Eh, eh. Yes. You don't have the strength to fight another woman, or my own is not worth fighting for. Which one? Don't eh? know. Stop asking me questions, please. Come here, your lazy woman. Come and give your your man a kiss and stop. I'm not up. giving you any kiss uh -uh. until you pay me in full all the money I spent in the hospital treating myself. Ah, uh -uh. that's not a problem now. Ah, uh -uh. you're in safe hands now. You should know this now. Mm? Watch your back. Watch yeah, your back. Because the person you trust may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you love, you thought they loved you. You trust them with everything that you have. Yet they stab your back, take you for a fool. But what you don't know when you close your eyes Who could that be now? He has just come in, the door is... Oh, oh I need that. Okay, my love. What is it? What do you want now? 
It feels so painful to realize that the ones you、ah. love could destroy. We are good in Monkey Suit, and I have a lean smell, except from the body of a gorgeous angel called Benita. I am so happy to meet you at home this morning. How sweet. How suave. But you know what? See, all this sweetness, he's just going to save it for another time because now it's not the time. Okay? Or better still, you can take it to the streets. You know, those women on the streets, they are interested and ready to listen to you. Benita, I can't stop coming after you. This is just one thing I want you to always know.、Hmm. I can't stop coming after you. Okay. Very well then. I guess I have to tell your best friend that you're trying to get this woman、wow. into your bed.、Hmm? How would you like that? Huh? Myra? No one has another woman in his life. Besides, why are you killing yourself over a man who doesn't want you? I love him, okay? I love him. Oh, come on. He told me so himself that he, he has another woman in his life. Just move on from my own to me, Benita. Clearly, from your mouth, did you? Was that did, did that come out clear? I mean, what's going on between you and Marion? No, wait, did you guys, you know, is this some sort of game you guys are trying to test me to、oh. see if I will fall? Or, oh no, you guys had a bet on me or something, right? No,、oh, listen, whatever it is, go back to my run and tell him he has failed, okay, and nothing. Will make me give him up, okay? Nothing at all! I, I am just, I am just. Listen, just... Emmanuel. Just leave my house. No you would not like what I'm going to do to you. No just, bro, just, get the hell out of my house, bro. No, okay. no, just get the hell out of my house. No, leave just, now. Yeah, just get out of. Get out of my house! Get out! Get out! What are you doing out here? I thought I told you to always stay in your room. What if I come back here with Myron and he had seen you? Just leave me alone, okay? Just leave me alone. What now? What is it? Do you want something to eat or drink? I don't want to eat or drink anything. For please, if you need to eat something, just tell me. Let me make it now. I need to go rest. I've had a very tough day. I need to ask you a question. Okay, I'm listening. Have you had sex with him? What? What are you talking about? Please, I need you to tell me the truth. Have you had sex with him? Who, Myron? Yes. Yes, Myron, yes. Have you had sex with him? What are you talking What are you going on about? I've seen the two of you kiss and make out severally. So I want to know Have you had sex with him? Comfort, I cannot have this discussion with you, okay? 
Whatever it is I'm doing with Myron, I will let you know when the time is right. So I'm going to take you to your room and make you whatever it is you want to eat. Come on, come on, let's go. Just, just leave me alone, let's okay? Go. Leave me alone. I want to know the Stand truth. Stand up, let's go, let's go. I want go. to know the truth. Have you two had come sex? Come stop stressing yourself out. Come to your I room. I want to know the truth. Have you two had sex? Relax, relax. Let me take you to your room. You're not saying anything. You need to relax, comfort. I want to know the truth. Don't stress. Chill, chill. It's okay. It's okay. I'll make you whatever you want to eat, okay? Oh, You're not taking care of yourself. Your blood pressure is so unstable. And you're not even taking your medications. You're putting yourself at the risk of a stroke. Doctor, don't you think having a stroke is the best thing for me right now? Comfort, you are a very beautiful woman with a bright future. A woman powerful enough to have millions of men worship you. Please don't let anyone hold you in their power. Doctor, all I want right now is to be in Myron's power. All I want right now is to be under his power. Don't you understand, Doctor? I just want to be under Myron's power. That's oh, all I want right now. Oh, Take it easy on yourself. Take it easy on yourself. Don't worry. <sighs> Everything will be fine. Okay? Power right now. Everything will be fine. Take it easy. Take it easy. Yourself. Take it easy. Emmanuel, what's up with you now? You've been seated there since, with the whole frowny face. You've not even touched your food. It's obvious that something is wrong. What's up? Myron, uh, I have something to discuss with you and it's very important. I just want you to give me a very clear answer. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel, when you sound like this, it's obvious that something serious is up. Well, talk to me. I'm all ears. Are you still in love with Benita? Oh, I just need a clear answer from you. Me? You're asking me if I'm still in love with Benita? Yes, sir. How can you be asking me this question? 
Emmanuel, you of all people, you know that I'm now involved with Nelia. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Let me even tell you now, for your information, I'm about to propose to Nelia. Oh. Yes. And you, as my best friend, as my guy, you are going to help me to plan that proposal. Of course. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, good to know. Good wow. to know, yes. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Know that now. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, if I may ask, why are you asking me this question? Maron, I, 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 I'm in love with Benita, and I want her to be my woman from now on. You what? Yes. Um, since uh, both of you are no longer together, and I, I felt this is the right time for me to. Why? So, do. My own is 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 that a problem? Are you serious about wanting to date a woman that I already dated and dumped? Have you even thought about the numerous awkward situations that will arise when three of us are together? Yes, I, I have thought about it over and over again and um, I know it's not going to be that easy but I, we all are mature adults and uh, we I felt it's the right time for me to come seek permission from you, so that's why I'm here. Well, um, <clears throat> I mean, yes, uh, why not? Who am I to stop you? I mean, you um, you are an adult, yeah, so you can make your own decisions yourself. Oh. She's an adult; she can make her own decisions herself. As, yeah, so I mean. So, so Emmanuel, I am saying that you have my permission. You can go ahead and do whatever you want to do. It's, look, it's not like you even need my permission. It's just, if you insist, then yes, you have my permission. The two of you are adults. You can do whatever you want to do. I mean, come on, knock yourselves out. Oh. Where are you going to? You don't even touch your food. Yes, I need to go see Benita right now. I need to go tell her how much I love her. So I think it's the right time for me to do this, um, I will catch you with your letter. I need to go right now, I need to rush out. <sighs> Emmanuel, how long have you been in love with my ex? How long? It's in my room. Why? Do you know how long it will take me to get you back into your room? Why don't you just eat here? I don't care. I want to eat in my room and that's it. And okay. if you're not going to take me, I'll do it myself. Come for what is this? An attempt to start a quarrel with me? Don't you think it's too early? We'll continue to quarrel until you tell me what is going on between you and Myron. I deserve to know the truth. All right, fine. I will tell you everything you need to know. But first, let's eat, okay? Hmm? Okay, no problem. I'll be patient. But if you fail to do as you've promised when we're done eating, I'll be so angry at you and you'll not like the outcome. You won't. All right. I promise to tell you everything once we're done eating. All right? Oh. 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 
Emmanuel. Ah. What do you want? Um, Benita, I came to see my love, so to find a way to take her out and... You know, who who and... is your love? What's the matter with you, Emmanuel? Hey, do you want me to involve the police in this matter before you, you borrow yourself some sense? Benita, I understand. I understand, okay? Everything is fine now. Just trust me, okay? What is not talking about? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is, is that everything that has to do with you and Myra, they are things of the, of the past. Just forget about them, okay? Mm. And um, besides, Myra is he's planning to propose to his new girlfriend. <laughs> you have me, right? What did she say? Myra is, Myra is trying to propose to Yes, and then, uh, uh, Benita, why don't you just calm down, let's sit down, okay? I want to talk to you, to tell you how much I love you, and just forget about everything that has to do with my role, and um, don't, let, I need to talk to you how much, I, I talk to you about how much I love you, okay? So don't, don't let it, okay? She said no, she said no. How? No, please. For real? Yeah, yeah. How? Oh, um, um, I'm sorry to hear this. She said no. So, what do you intend to do about this now? I don't know. I don't know, man. I love her. I love her so much. And, and it hurts. Yeah. I can understand. This is, this is deep. It's quite deep. How? Oh. Um, <clears throat> you know, can I ask you something? Sure, go, go, go ahead. Okay. And please, I would like you to answer sincerely, okay? Please. At what point did you realize that you were in love with Benita? I don't know, bro. All I knew is that I want her and her alone in my life. You don't understand. I love Benita and I'm deeply in love with her. And I want to be with her. I can do anything. I mean, I can do anything necessary to have her in my life. I can kill. I mean, I, I, I can die for her. Wow. Wow, this is, <laughs> this is deep, bro. This is, I must say, I didn't even see this coming at all. I didn't anticipate this at all. This is very deep. It's obvious that you love this girl so, so much, you know? Um, okay. Emma, you know what? What? I'm going to help you talk to Benita. What? Yes, you heard me. I said I'm going to help you talk to Benita. Oh, you don't want me to? Of course I do, I do, but I mean, I, um, I need all the help I could get from you uh, to get you to her. But uh, I, I, I am, I am, I am surprised that you could offer me such help. No, no, Ima, leave all that, leave all that. Um, actually, I have to help you to get Benita. You know, while you were away, I did a lot of thinking. You know, and. 
I realized that in helping you get Benita, I'm also helping myself. Mm -hmm. How do you mean? Okay, now, listen. Um, Benita still believes that something can happen between she and I. See? So, I'm going to leverage on the fact that you love her. Okay. You see? Then it will make her realize that I'm serious about moving on from her to someone else. Do you see? So that way now, everybody's happy. Wow. Do you now understand? Wow. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Mara, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. No, I deeply no, no. appreciate it. Ima, stop now. Stop. Thank you. Thank Ima, you. stop. You are my best friend. I Ima, you are my guy. Calm down. You're my guy. There's nothing I can do to make you happy that will be a big deal at all. You're my guy, but I'm the one. So leave all these things, you know? Appreciate it. Yeah, no, no, no. Forget about all that. No, but together, man. I mean, you know. Okay, so uh, before you walked in, I was um, I was just about to go for an appointment, okay? okay? okay. Yes. So this is what's going to happen. After my appointment, I'll hook up with Benita. All right. You see? Um, just be rest assured that um, I'll have some good news for you, sir. Good news for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Once again, thank you. No, 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 no. See your glasses. It's up. Uh, uh, now, so they do you. I they do you. Baba, relax. We are together. We are together. Eh? Mm -hmm. Nothing to you. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, I'm going to the shop. Some of the customers need food. So, I'll be back shortly. This is not fair. What's, what's the matter? You're taking my life away from me. I don't understand what is happening anymore. What are you talking about, Comfort? What are you saying because you're beginning to get on my last nerve? Okay, I will explain. You're going to the shop and you're going to meet my customers, right? So it means you're taking my life away from me. What do you want from me? Comfort. Tell me what you want. I'm about to lose my mind. I want my life back. Stop pushing and really getting me to the background. Really? That's what you want? Yes, that is what I want. It's fine. It's okay. I will give you everything you think I've taken away from you. But first, you need to know that you're an ungrateful sister. All I've done is sacrifice my life just to make yours better and even seek revenge on your behalf. But what do I get? Ungratefulness. I am coming back to take the rest of my things. You can have everything you think that belongs to you. I'm going back to base. Have a nice life. No, please. Please, please, please don't go. Please. Please don't go. Please. Please. I'm sorry. Don't go. Good day, sir. Good day. Are you looking for someone? Oh, I'm actually here to see Mr. Myron again. Eh? Okay. I am Mr. Myron again. Eh? Great. So, who are you? Uh, um, my name is Dr. Moin Ola. I am a psychologist and Miss Comfort at Day's doctor. I actually came to see you so we could talk um, about a few. What is the meaning of this nonsense? Huh? Did Comfort send you here to make sure I have a bad day or what? Mr. Myron, please can we go inside and talk? No, we cannot go inside and talk. Because it's obvious that you want to talk about Comfort. Comfort is my past. I thought it's final. Okay? Comfort told me you guys loved each other so much. Do you not hate her? 
Dr. Boni, or whatever you call yourself. Get out of my compound before I do something to you that you'll regret. Get out. Mr. Myron, I actually just came so we could talk about comfort. I need to know a few things about her that could help me help. I don't care! I don't care! Go and tell comfort that Myron is in a very happy place. Okay? So the two of you should get lost. Get out! Listen, Dr. Bowie, right now, leave my compound. Because what I will do to you, eh, you will regret it. And listen, because I'm even doubting if, I, if you're a real doctor. Yes! Uh -huh. Listen to me, oh, listen to me. The next time you step foot in this compound, I will do something to you that you will regret for the rest of your life. Get out! Get out! Idiot. Benita, mm -hmm. I want to thank you for honoring my invitation on short notice. Babe, you know you don't need to thank me, okay? I'm just glad that you called for a night out. I mean, we haven't done this in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I ordered wine. I hope that's fine. Oh, absolutely nice. Okay. Um, this cheers. Cheers to us. Cheers to our love. May nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing come between us or tear us apart. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, <clears throat> Benny, I invited you over because there's something very serious I would like us to discuss. And um, I believe it's something that we'll both benefit from. Okay, listen, before you say anything, okay, I want to first of all apologize for anything I've done wrong. I just want you to forgive me if I've done anything to hurt you. And I am promising you from today onwards, you will get nothing, absolutely nothing but pure, undiluted love, care, affection, loyalty, and sex. <laughs> Benita. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel loves you and I want you to consider him. I beg your pardon? Yes, you heard me. Emmanuel, my friend, he truly loves you and I want you to give him a chance. Okay. You want me? to date your best friend that lives in the same apartment with you? After all these years of us being together with him in the background. Let me relax, relax. I'm fully aware that this is awkward. It sounds some type of way. But believe me, this is the best for all of us, okay? Emmanuel has professed to me how much he loves you and Benita, just you know, just think about this. Consider him. He's a very good person. Look, look, see, Benita, I can assure you that Emmanuel will make you happy. Give me a chance. Look, I'm in love with someone else. I'm in love with Nelly. I'm going to marry her. So please just consider Emmanuel, please. You know what? My run. Of all the things that you have said to hurt me. All the things that you have done to make me cry. This is the worst. Benita. You have just shown me of how much.
much you hate me. How much you don't care about me. Delete everything concerning me in your life. From today, moving forward, I don't know you. You don't exist. We never met. Do you understand me? Benita, can you, can, you, can, you, can you just stop and listen to... I have not had sex with Myron. Are you telling me the truth? Yes. I do not have intentions of lying to you. Matter of fact, I'm only trying to help. Because I believe that men like Myron should be thrown into the pits of hell. He's going to make moves to sleep with you very soon. You cannot keep pushing him away forever. Yes, I know. So what would you do if he comes at you for sex? I'll sleep with him. No. Yes. Comfort. Yes. Listen, we have a great chance to get back at the guy who put you in this condition. We can't ruin things by letting our emotions run riot. But I still love him. I cannot stand the image of the two of you having sex. Love. You love a man who has cost you Great pain, comfort. You have to unlove him. You have to find a way to unlove him. That's the only way to heal your bruised heart. That, and also the sweet revenge I'm going to get for us. Are you expecting anyone? No. Who is it? It's me, Myron. Please open up. It's, oh my god, you, you have to go inside. You have to go. I don't want him to see you. He doesn't have to see you. Get up. Uh, uh, give, give me a minute. I'm, I'm not decent. Come on, come on, get up. Okay, no problem. Get up. Uh, hold on. <sighs> Hi, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I... <sighs> what a surprise. I, I, I wasn't expecting you. <laughs> Who was that for? What are you doing? Nelly, I have met and known a lot of women in my lifetime, even before I met you. Nelly, none of them has ever made me feel the way you make me feel. The truth is that I never saw myself settling down with one woman because I've always been scared. Yes. I've always been scared of commitment. But Nelia, you came into my life and you took all those fears away. You've made me a very happy man since the day I met you. Nelia, I'm asking you, please. I want you to be the mother of my kids. I want us to plan a future together. Nelia, I'm asking you to please marry me. Make me the happiest man on earth. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you trust may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. 
Because the person you love may stab you back one day. You thought they loved you. You trust them with everything that you have. Yet they stab you back, take you for a fool. But what you don't know when you close your eyes. Emmanuel! 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 Go, 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 go! Emmanuel! 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 She said yes. 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 Oh my God. Yes. Yes. I am so, so happy. I am the most happiest man on earth right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, I will never forget this in a hurry, man. Oh. We need some booze. Oh. Oh. Emmanuel. What? I wasn't um talking about Benita. What happened to Benita? I'm talking about Nelia. Okay. I proposed to Nelia and she said yes. That's why I'm happy. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Thanks, thanks, congratulations. Thanks, thanks, congratulations. So, thanks, thanks. were you able to get to Benita tonight? Benita, um, yes, sure, yes, yes. Sure. I, I actually spoke to Benita. I okay. told her everything, uh, how you loved her and you want to be with her. But um, she walked out on me. Emmanuel, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I did everything I could. I, I, I told her everything. How you had feelings for her. How um, you want to do so, with her. So, hold on, hold on. Your own worked out. My own didn't work out, right? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Emmanuel, no, don't make it so sound. So, yours worked out. Mine didn't work out. Don't make it sound like that. I tried. You know, I, I tried to convince her. I told her everything. Um, I'm sorry. I wish... Watch your back, watch your back Because the person you trust May stab your back one day Watch your back, watch your back Because the person you love May stab your back one day I also heard him say you're the only woman who has given him reasons to settle down All the years I spent with him doesn't matter and it's all because of you. I don't have feelings for my own. And you know that. I'm only doing your bidding. I'm doing this to exact vengeance for you. Why do you always make me look and feel like I don't care about you, I'm doing something bad? I want all of this to end right now. I need you to stop seeing Myra. Why? Uh, why now? Because I believe I'm going to get better and get into shape. He's going to see me and fall in love with me again. Um, Comfort, you need to go to bed, okay? Let's talk about this when you wake up and you're... I am perfectly fine enough to have this discussion. See, I know you really tried for me, and I'm so very grateful. But I need to get back to my, my run so we can pick up from where we stopped. Are you a fool? Go back to what man? A man who left you brokenhearted while he walked on other women. A man who treated you like garbage every chance he got. Do you not have any self-respect or this your imbecility has taken over your brains? Nilia, you can call me whatever you like. I don't care. All I know is that I am going back to my Myron. <laughs> I called Dr. Moe so I can start my therapy session with her and get back on my feet. You called Dr. Moy. Uh, how did you manage that? You don't have a cell phone. I used your phone. I still have a number memorized in my head. She's coming here tomorrow morning to take me to the hospital mm -hmm. so I can start a proper therapy session with her. 
since I'm going to get back on my feet, I don't think I need your service anymore. It's fine. I'll move out tomorrow. Go back to my base and you, you can go to therapy with Dr. Moyen, okay? Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for all you've done for me. I am so grateful. God bless you for me. Amen. Please, I'm tired and I really need to rest. Could you please excuse me so I can sleep? Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you trust may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you love may stab your back one day. You thought they loved you. You trust them with everything that you have. Yet they stab your back. Took you for a fool. But the stakes are too big for you to even imagine. You have to stay out of my way until I'm done with my plans. Imano, is there anything the matter? What's all this now? I'm talking to you and you're acting like you're not the person I'm talking to. You're behaving like I've, as, as if I've done something wrong to you. I don't understand. What's this? Okay. It's obvious that um, you have decided to give me the silent treatment. Emmanuel. This task that I embarked on, you are very much aware about how tough that task was. Imano, you know how difficult it was for me to make Benita to be with you. So what's all this? Eh? What's all this? Why are, you, why are you acting like this? All right, um, no, no problem. Since this is how you have chosen to handle the situation, well, I'll, I'll go and have breakfast by myself. I'm hungry. Do your thing. Maro, I, I am leaving your apartment today. What? You heard me right. Okay, don't worry. I will not take anything that does not belong to me, especially those things that you feel quite difficult to let go. I'll leave them for you. I'm good. Thank you. Ah. I don't understand. Emmanuel, what is all this? Where is, where is all this coming from? I don't understand. Leaving my house, why? Myron, you, you heard me right. I'm leaving your apartment today. End of discussion. I must confess that I am really, really shocked at everything you've told me about Myron. You know, I used to see Myron as a very good man. So why is he treating you so shabbily? What's, 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 what's going on? Uncle. Mm -hmm. Someone took a picture of me kissing a guy in a club and sent it to him. So you were cheating on him? No, I wasn't cheating on him. I, Myron is the only guy I've ever known since we started dating. He's the only guy I've ever been with. I wasn't cheating on him, believe me, uncle. I love him genuinely. Okay, but you just said it now that you were caught kissing somebody somewhere and then they not Okay, it was just a harmless kiss. A harmless kiss with a total stranger in a club. Mm. Okay, this guy met my friends and I 
in the club and then just decided to buy us some drinks, expensive drinks. Mm -hmm. And then before he left, he planted a kiss on my lips, a harmless kiss. And, and then someone took pictures of it and sent it to him. So who could have done that? I don't know. Up to date, he has refused to tell me who sent those pictures to him. But you know what, uncle? Whoever sent those pictures to him just wanted to set me up. But he wanted to frame me up. And I believe strongly it's Myron himself that did that. Myron? Yes, Myron. Why, why would Myron want to do that? Uh, why, uh, why else? So that he can just frame me up, paint me bad and leave. And, and, and go on to, to parablate the whole of Lagos with that is how long that he's moving around with now. You know That's what? why he would do it. Fine. He, he would do it. That's what men do, uncle. They do it when they want to leave a woman to another woman. They will just find one reason to quarrel and separate mm. and break up. Mm. That's what he did. You know, I find it very difficult to understand how you young ones reason, act and think these days. I mean, you would just kiss somebody in a public place just because he bought you drinks. When you know you have a serious relationship. Uncle, it was just a harmless kiss on the lips. Okay. It wasn't deep. All right, no problem. So now, what do you want to do? What do you want to do now? I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. I've thought about it and I just decided to move on. I mean, I've, I've decided to stop worrying about Myron and just hopefully God remember me and the right man will come, a man who will appreciate me. You know, I think I think that's a very good decision to take, okay? Because um, it will be wrong for you to allow anybody, anybody at all, make you feel less of yourself, okay? If you give yourself some time, some space, I am very, very sure that one day the right man for you will come. Amen. Uh -huh. So stop, Amen. stop worrying, stop thinking about it. Okay, everything is going to be fine. Just give yourself that space to, to heal, and then it will be fine. Okay. okay? All right. Thank so now that now that we have talked about this issue that you brought here, hmm? where is Mauba, Pamwana, and all the other things you're supposed to bring to your uncle? Okay, you know, find something for your uncle. Oh. Eh? You just brought heartache issues to me. Uncle, I was so heartbroken. <laughs> and you just so want to Don't just worry. talk Everything to Everything is going to be fine, okay? Everything will be fine. Just take care of okay? Thank you. Right. Come in, the door is open. Hey, doctor. Ah, good morning, Nelia. Good morning, doctor. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm here to see your sister, Comfort. Who? Comfort? Yes, Comfort. Where is she? <laughs> you, you're here to see her. Why? Oh, she called me yesterday, you know, to come move her to the clinic so she can get psychological therapy and treatment. <laughs> are you sure? Yes, why? No, it's just... My sister doesn't have a phone, so... I'm wondering how she was able to reach you. She called me through your phone. I presume you guys must have spoken about the need for her to be moved to the clinic to get proper treatment, you know? That's why I didn't even bother to call you. I'm surprised, you know? Surprised because um, my sister just moved to the village this morning. In the company of my aunt and her husband. Comfort moved to the village. Yes. Why? I didn't, I mean, I'm so sorry I didn't tell you, but um, she became suicidal a few weeks ago. To the village? Yeah. Nelia, Comfort is my patient. If there's any issue, you should have brought her to the clinic for proper psychological treatment. Why take her to the village? Who is going to take care of her there? <sighs> Doctor, I'm really sorry I didn't let you know, but when it comes to our affairs, our relatives, they have the upper hand. There's, there's nothing I could do, you know? So there's no way of reaching or speaking to Comfort right now? Um, I, I'm sure what she settles in the village, they will call me with a number. So I'm, I will send the number straight to you so you can talk to her. I promise I'll do it. Nelia. Your sister had a nervous breakdown due to heartbreak. Yeah. 
with proper psychological treatments and medicals, she would get back to her stable self. Take her to the village. Ah, oh, please, can you get back to me as soon as you hear from her? I will, doctor. Please. I will. I will. All right, I'll take my leave now, darling. Okay, okay please. Eh? Thank you for coming. Please, ensure yes. to let me know as soon as you hear from her. I will. All right, take care of yourself and yes. have a nice day. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. What happened? What happened to me? You are my prisoner from now on, Comfort. How long you stay alive would be determined by how much you're willing to do my bidding. Do you hear me? What are you talking about? You're an imbecile, not a deaf. I'm sure you heard me clearly. What is going on? Why are you talking to me like this? Because you're a fool. You're a fool to think you can stand a player like Myron. A player I've been able to tame and now I want to destroy. I, I don't think I understand what you're talking about. <sighs> yeah, you, you, you can't understand it. But I will try my best to explain it to you, okay? Three years ago, some guy broke my heart. The pain, oh my God, the pain. The pain sits deep in my heart. Unfortunately, he traveled to Europe and I couldn't reach him to deal with him exactly the way I wanted. And then he came to me with the Myron story. I took the chance, you know? Myron represents the men who deal with us and just make a mess of us women. So I see this as an opportunity to heal my heart from all the pain that I've been going through. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait to see the look on Myron's face when all my plans unfold in front of him. <laughs> you are crazy, Lenya. <laughs> really? I know. But you see, a little bit of craziness will get Myron to pay. <laughs> huh. you, you have to let me go, okay? You just have to let me go. Please. No. You're going to stay here. I'm going to lock in, in here until I'm done with my plans. I do not need you to stand in the way or ruin anything for me. Hear me? No, no, you... Shh! Shh! Nina, you can't do this to me. You have to let me go! Nina, please bear, just let me go, bear. please. Because the person you trust <laughs> May still be back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you love may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you trust may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you love may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back Because the person you trust Hey babe May stab your back <laughs> one day How are you doing? <laughs> I 
something. So I was thinking that I should come over tonight. <laughs> oh my God, you're so naughty. But I'm in the mood for some naughtiness. Okay. 8 p.m.? All right. See you soon. <laughs> watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you trust may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you love may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you trust hmm. may stab your Nella back is lying. one day. She is lying. Comfort couldn't have called me to come if she knew she wasn't going to be around. <laughs> Something fishy is going on here. Ah. I have a strong feeling comfort is in a big danger. Oh, something doesn't seem right. I have to call the police. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you trust. Yes, yeah, come in. May stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hi, good afternoon. Please have a seat. How may I help you? Thank you. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the oh my you you. Try, you stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the you you love, stab your my back. My life just got torn day. apart. Watch your back, okay. watch your back. Calm down, because okay? The Calm down. Try, just take it easy, okay? Oh, take it easy, take it easy. Take it easy. Tell me what's your name. Talk to me, what's your name? Come on, take it easy. <laughs>
water. Please, I want water. Water. Please, water. Water. Water, please. Water. I want water. Oh, oh. Send the boys to come pick up the cargo. Alright, boss. <sighs> Benny, I am so you sorry. You are sorry? I'm so, so sorry. You are sorry? I'm sorry. You know, no. Let me ask you. Do you like have a special design on on how to embarrass me and make me look like a total ass all the time? Do you? No, no. Benny, Benny, I swear on everything good. I I had no idea that Myron was there with his woman. Yeah. I am tired. I am so tired i'm going to go in there and sleep okay thank you for you know an honorable night of Benny, shame Benny, thank you Benny, 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 I, Benny, I have moved out of my house apartment and i have cut off everything that has to do between me and my own, and I'm now here to spend the rest of my life with you. I just want to show you how much I love you so deeply. Benny, I have a solid belief that God brought us together for a reason, and I have cut off everything that has to do with me and my own. And Benny, remember I told you if tonight does not work out, I would not disturb you again. Please, good night. Please, don't let this... Oh, I missed you. Missed me? Yes. 
I just I just left the bedroom like fifteen minutes ago. Fifteen minutes? Ah, oh, <laughs> no wonder it feels like a lifetime to me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for last night. You were awesome. <laughs> Thank you. you were awesome as well. I had mad fun with you. <laughs> it was totally worth the wait. Mm, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just. I'm grateful to God for bringing me to you. Yes, I know. Mm. Then with the aroma of what I'm perceiving, <laughs> it is obvious that I married a very good cook as well. <laughs> oh, babe, stop. You cannot tell the taste of the food by the aroma. So you go freshen up. Give me some time to finish cooking. Then you can dig it and just then you can let me know if I'm a good cook or not. Well, um, <laughs> I know you are a good cook already. <laughs> but all right, it's fine, it's fine. I'll do as you said. I'll yeah. go upstairs, I'll freshen up. Just because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a bit. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you trust may stab your back one day.
the person you love may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back, because the person you trust may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back, because the person you love may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back, because the person you trust may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the Please. person you love may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you trust may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you love may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you trust. May stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you love may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you trust may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you love may stab your back one day. And then record me. Watch your back, watch your back, because the person you trust may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch yeah, your Yeah, sorry I missed your call. I was busy with Myron. You... Okay. What's the situation now? He's unconscious. The drug knocked him out cold. Oh, good, good. Same with Benita. It is time to move to stage two. Good. I'll see you soon. I will see you soon. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you trust may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you Nice to see that you're fully awake. Welcome to my show. Benita. What is Benita doing in my house? Imano. What is going on here? You asked too many questions. You're, you're okay. Of course I'm okay. Why won't I be okay? I'm glad you're okay. Okay, so, guys. Please. What is going on here? Guys, I asked a question. Please talk to me. What is going on here? Do you want to know what is going on here? Okay, let me tell you. You have to transfer back the 600 million naira you transfer to your bank account in Ghana. Failure to do that, that you are dead. Emmanuel. Emilia. Wait. So, the two of you ganged up to take all my money away from me? But how? How did the two of you even come together? Uh, this one wants a story. Okay, fine. I'll give you the story, baby. Yeah. Remember Comfort? The lady you dated for three years, then dumped her right before the wedding? Remember? Comfort? Yes, Comfort. Yes, of course. I know I know Comfort. I remember her very well. But, but what does Comfort have to do with any of this? Who are you to Comfort? Comfort is my older sister. Well, you messed up her brains and her mind when you dumped her. Let's just say she never remained the same again. Oh well, I took it upon myself to seek revenge 
on behalf of her. You messed my sister up, I'm going to mess you up. Comfort told you that I dumped her? The same comfort that I left just so I don't get into trouble? What? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Your sister left me because she stole money from me. Your sister is a kleptomaniac. Your sister cannot even control herself. She steals things that she doesn't even need. Do you know how many people I had to, I had to pay off, I had to beg just so they don't go to the police because of your sister? Uh, no, uh, Comfort I didn't tell me any of that. Of course, she will never tell you any of this. But I'm telling you, and it's the honest truth. Myra, listen, that doesn't matter. You have to pay us that money or else we deal with you. Yeah. So, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, don't go ahead. Emmanuel, you. You want to know why? Okay. Now, here's why. I have lived with you for over three years and I have not achieved anything. Myron, you are the worst friend any guy can ever have. But I have endured all this while. You don't even care about my welfare. You don't even care about anything. Imano, you, me, I don't care about you. Imano, is that what you just said? I don't care about you. Imano, do you know how many times I give you money for your personal stuff? On a regular? Imano! Imano, even the car you're driving, I gave that car to you. That is a car you've already overused. That was why it was easier for me to team up with Nelia to deal with you and also gain something from you. To deal with me. Will it ever get worse than this? No, you want to deal with me, both of you. I mean, you want to take all my money away from me. I mean, I mean, go ahead, deal with me. Do with me. Enough. Okay. Enough of all this bromance, guys. Listen, Myron. We are aware that all you need to make the transfer is to send the code to your bank in Ghana. So here, your laptop is here. Send the code, we'll get the transfer, and everything will go back to perfect. You and you, you know. The two of you can go to hell. I will never do it. Fuck you. What is going on here? Where am I? Please, what is going on here? Well, you've gotten yourself into something messy and big that can lead you into your grave. You think I'm here to play? You think I will hesitate to kill you if you don't give me what I want? I don't care. Yes. I don't care. The both of you can do whatever you want to do. I don't care. I'm sure that the two of you will not get a dime from me tonight. I don't care. I don't care. What's happening here? What's going on? Shut up. Shut up this minute. Hey, Myron, how would you like to watch the love of your life die? I'm sure you will enjoy it. Hmm? How would you like to watch Emmanuel press that knife on her neck until she bleeds to death? Mm. I'm sure you will like the view. Mm. Hmm? Leave Benita out of this. She has done nothing. She has done nothing wrong to either of you. Please, just leave her out. Then give me what I want and I will leave her alone. Simple. The code. The plan is simple, Myron. Just give us what we want. We'll not kill her. But if you fail to give us what we want, we'll kill her and leave her dead body here for you. Besides, yeah. your friends know that both of you are spotted ways. Myron, all your friends know that both of you fought. And they will surely blame you for her death. So, 
Give us what we want. <laughs> uh, Emmanuel, <laughs> Nelia, it is obvious that the both of you are sick. You are sick upstairs. Because who? Who on earth will believe this stupid story that you are cooking up? Who? Nobody will believe you guys. <laughs> you think? Oh, yeah. I get it. I, I get why you would think that way. Because, you know, you have not actually taken your time to go through your baby girl's Facebook and Instagram handles where she has taken out a considerable amount of time to cuss you out for breaking her heart. Hashtag men has come. <laughs> In fact, she threatened to kill herself because you broke her heart. So honey, you are going to be the first person on the police suspect list when she dies. <laughs> and you will rot in jail. <laughs> the code. Now, Myron. What? What happened? Oh, sweet, you love me. Oh, God, shut up! Uh -uh. Give me the code! Give me the damn code! That's what I need from you! Not this whole profession of love and love bush! Give me the. D you know what? Just give me the code, okay? Girl, Let me no, type please, it. Please, just give them the code. Please, just take my name. Give them the code. Please. Please. She doesn't want you to die. I'll just say it. Wait, where are you going to? I'm going to my castle. We could get out of this place. Excuse you? Who told you I want to ride in that dead big car of yours? Why isn't my car? I'm driving. Well, do, do you think it's a good idea? Police could trace this guy from the moment my makes a call. Oh my god, Emmanuel, why do you make me do all this thinking? <sighs> And your mind is so small. We're not running with the car. We just need it for some hours so we can go get ready to leave the country. Really? He is totally incapacitated in there. And it's going to take him a few hours to be conscious. And that's enough hours to leave the country. Please, but. no buts. Okay? I am leading here. Alright? And me being in charge has given us a lot of millions. So get in the car and let me drive. Jesus Christ. of you some space to enjoy some time. I must well dump the two of you in the same grave. Comfort. Comfort. Help. Comfort. 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 Don't worry, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you, I promise. Comfort. Happened here. Someone broke into this house. Someone? Comfort. Comfort. I want the laptop now, or you will never ever see your sister again. You took my sister? 
surprised? Are you surprised that a man that you've, you've been thinking for a fool is capable of double crossing you? You, Nelia. It feels good to know that you're surprised. Especially when you consider yourself as a criminal mastermind. Anyway, let me break it down for you. My boys are with your sister. And they will kill her from the moment I put a call across. So, Nelia, hand the laptop over to me. Your account details and your password. Do this for us and you dare double cross me. You think you can pull off this game without me? Of course I, I can do that. All I just need is for you to hand the laptop over to me. Go, go, go for it. Not until I confirm my sister is with you. Oh. How to speak to her? Of course. I want to speak to the cargo. The phone is on speaker. I think this is the proof you need. So, hand the laptop over to me now. And your account details and password. Give it to me. It's fine. You win, I'll, I'll give you the laptop. But you have to promise me not to hurt my sister. Of course, I promise. Fast eight. I need, I need the password. Okay. For the password. For the password. Idiot. You actually believed I was going to share the money with you in the first place. <laughs> and as for my sister, who cares about that imbecile? I need to get out of here. I need my papers. Watch your back, watch your back. Because the person you try may stab your back one day. Watch your back, watch your back. Where's this? Because the person you love may stab your back. I left him here. What? Watch your back, watch your back. You shouldn't have messed with me. You shouldn't have. Appreciate your cooperation, Mr. Myron. Thank you. Um, your friend, Mr. Emmanuel, I assure you he's going to be prosecuted accordingly for all his crimes, especially for the murder of um, Miss Nelia. Um, very soon we'll arraign him in court once our investigations are done. Okay, that's that's fine. Thank you very much, officer. Thank you. Uh, I spoke with Miss Comfort and she mentioned something about you being a new guardian. How true is that? Uh, yeah. I spoke to her doctor and her therapist last night. Okay. You know, and um, they assured me that Comfort, my ex-girlfriend, is going to be all right as long as she gets the adequate therapy and treatment. Yes, so I have decided to put all the bills oh. until she's well. Yeah. So yes, so that makes me more or less her guardian. Oh. All right. That's good. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, officer, you know what? Um from all of this I learned a very important lesson. Yeah. You see, we humans sometimes we tend to push away people that have hurt us mildly you know and we embrace the demons that want to take away our lives pretending to be our loved ones 
You see, I'm, I'm very grateful to God for saving me from the hands of death. You know, and because of this, I have decided to live the rest of my life serving humanity. Yes, and of course, this extends to the people I love, to the people that I have been forced and tricked to push away. Yes, oh. yeah. That sounds really good. Um, you know what they say about keeping your eyes wide open? Because if you close your eyes, even your close friends will shock you. Oh yes, oh yes, officer. Another very important lesson that I learned from all of this. From now on, my eyes are going to be wide open always. <laughs> and never for once am I going to close my eyes again. I'm not closing my eyes anymore. No. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I need to join my men outside now. Thank you. Thank you so much, officer. Take care. So, All right. You all too. Right. <sighs> yes. Never, Myron. Never again am I going to close my eyes to friends, family, or anybody. Except for one person. close my eyes with somebody and still feel very safe. Benita, that person is you. Please, permit me to do this. What? Benita, please, um, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you so, so much. Please, will you marry me? Thank you so much. Thank you for keeping to your words. It's I'm fine. really very grateful. Thank you for taking good care of me. Thank you so much. It's fine, Comfort. Don't worry, everything is going to be okay. You'll be fine. Everything yeah. will be okay. Yeah? Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. oh, everything will be fine, okay? Watch your back, watch your back Because the person you trust May stab your back one day Watch your back, watch your back Because the person you love May stab your back one day You thought they loved you You trust them with everything that you have Yet they stab your back you fall fool But what you don't know when you close your eyes It 
you so pay.